Are these the best camera setups for vlogging or for YouTube? Join me to find out. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Susie with Gemini Connect. I run a photo and video production studio here in Seattle, Washington, but I also make YouTube videos talking about some of the gear that I use for my professional photo shoots. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Today we're gonna to talk about vlogging cameras, and I've made several other videos on this topic, mostly pertaining to GoPro vlogging rigs. And as you can see here, I have a brand new one, which I will talk about in a second. But first of all, we're gonna talk about this camera rig right here. As the title of this video suggested, this is a vlogging rig that you can apply to almost any camera out there. What makes this rig special is this flip screen. And this is a Fujifilm X-H1. It is a camera that does not come with a flip screen right out of the box but this piece does give you a flip screen. It is so simple and so affordable and I can't believe that all it took was this little piece to give you a flip screen. So let's deconstruct this and I'll show you exactly how it works. So on top we have a shotgun mic. This is the Rode MTG mic and I will do a separate video talking about this mic later. But if we take that piece off, then we can get to the good stuff, which is our little flip screen. So this is the piece that we're focusing on and it's actually quite simple. It is just a piece of plastic with a mirror in it and also some cold shoe mounts all around the sides so that you can add attachments such as microphones or external lights and a cold shoe screw on the top as well to attach it to any camera. And this works on pretty much any camera out there, but the only trick is that you have to have a camera with a screen that flips out like this. So some of my older cameras, such as my Canon 5D Mark III and the Canon 6D, those do not have flip screens that pop out. So this display will not work on cameras like that, but any modern day mirrorless camera that has a screen that pops out will work with this just fine. So all you have to do is attach this to the top of your camera and then your flip screen just pops out and then when you turn the camera around you see yourself reflected in the mirror and this is just the easiest way that I've found to turn basically any camera into a vlogging camera because you can very clearly see yourself. It is a mirror, so keep that in mind. A lot of your settings will be backwards, uh, but the main purpose that I think of having a flip screen like this is just to be able to compose. For our first test, this is the Fujifilm X-H1 with the 12 millimeter f2.8 and Martin's here getting some b-roll so that we can show you exactly what this looks like. Uh, but it's super cool. I love being able to just see what's in my frame, see if someone's creeping up on me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it just really helps with being able to make sure that you're composing exactly what you want when you're in front of the camera, which is really hard to do without a flip screen. The only Fujifilm camera that has this capability that we know of anyway is the X-T100, and uh, the X-T4 will actually have a flip screen when it comes out. But in the meantime, you're not able to get a flip screen on any Fujifilm cameras unless you use something like this. Little... What do you think? <laughs> It's a little difficult to see if there are two people. But yeah, when you're vlogging by yourself and you're using a wide angle lens, you can pretty much assume that you're in the frame. But if you've got two people, it's so hard to know if you're both in the frame or not. So now can you see the reflection? I can see it out of the corner of my eye. Oh, I see so it I well. figure, yeah, I figure as long as the person holding the camera can mm. see it, that's what's important, right? That's and true. then we can just keep going. So this is the first piece. It is super simple and works with just about any camera as long as you have an LCD screen that pops out. Now let's get to the good stuff, which is this GoPro vlogging rig. And compared to my other GoPro vlogging setups, this one probably looks the most intense, especially if you look at it from the side, because of this mirror that pops out. But this is actually a different brand than the other mirror display that I showed you, but it works basically the same way. The reason why it has to extend out like this, though, is because the GoPro screen does not pop out. And so they had to get a little creative about how to make sure that mirror was able to be seen from the front and the box actually has two different setups in it the first setup is pretty straightforward and all you have to do is basically put your GoPro um, on top of the setup and then just pop the mirror out and adjust that mirror so that you can see yourself and you can start vlogging right away The second setup is a bit more complicated because you do have to partially disassemble the first setup and put the mirror on the second setup
So this here is taking advantage of that second setup, and the reason why I'm using it in this case is that the second setup gives you a little slot for your GoPro mic adapter. And this mic adapter is really key because in the Hero 8, Hero 7, basically all the GoPros after the Hero 4 don't have a mic jack, and so you have to add the mic jack by getting a mic adapter. The problem with the mic adapter is that it's really big. In fact, it's about as big as the GoPro itself, so you have to buy rigs such as the ones made by Ulanzi or this particular rig here in order to have a place for the mic adapter. The other advantage to using cages is not only to house the mic adapter but also to give you a cold shoe mount so that you can attach your external microphone or your external lights or anything else that you want to use with the GoPro because the GoPro itself as you can see here is smooth and it doesn't come with any cold shoe mount so it's really hard to add any external mics or lights or anything like that to the GoPro without sticking it inside of a cage. The other nice thing about using a GoPro cage like this is that you can use basically any GoPro inside of it as long as you have the traditional GoPro mount on the bottom. So right now we're using the Hero 8 Black which is the first GoPro that has the GoPro feet built in so you don't need to have a cage in order to use this GoPro. But if you wanted to, you could also use the Hero 7 Black. This is a GoPro that you almost exclusively want to use with a cage, uh, just because if you don't, then you just don't have a way to attach this to a tripod or a mount. So when you stick it inside of the cage, you do get the GoPro feet, which allows you to stick it inside of a rig such as this one. The other thing about the Hero 8 Black is that you can use it bare like this, or if you were lucky enough to get the Media Mod, you could also stick the GoPro Hero 8 inside of the Media Mod and then attach it to this vlogging rig setup. If you're going to do that, then I actually suggest using the first configuration because that way you don't need this extra piece for the, the mic adapter because you have a mic adapter built into your Media Mod. The only problem is there are some challenges with using this media mod and we will be making a separate video talking about all of the constraints of using the media mod. It's not necessarily your best option and in fact it's actually very hard to find this media mod because it's constantly out of stock. And so if you're not able to get your hands on a media mod, don't worry about it. I would go for the mic adapter instead because that is still available and relatively easy to get your hands on. You can also use a vlogging cage setup like this one or Olanzi's cages to have a special place for that mic adapter to live so that it's not awkwardly hanging off of your GoPro. So with the Hero 8 Black, a lot of the manufacturers of GoPro accessories really had to reconfigure the way that they sell their products, namely these ND filters. So Polar Pro is one of the biggest manufacturers of ND filters for GoPros, and in previous versions, they were able to just sell these filters that were replaceable through the lens. But on the Hero 8 Block, you can no longer switch out the lens. So the way that Polar Pro addressed this challenge was to reconfigure the way that they attach filters to the GoPro. They made this little adapter, which snaps to the front of the Hero 8 Black, and also three filters that come along with it. And these are really high quality filters, they're really nice, and when you use the adapter, all you have to do is snap them on top and they attach magnetically. However, there's still the standing issue of if you want to use an external microphone with the Hero 8 Black, then you had to buy a mic adapter. And along with that mic adapter, you also have to get a cage to put the mic adapter in. And when you do that, you can no longer use these Polar Pro filters because you have a cage wrapping around the GoPro and these filters will only attach to the GoPro if the GoPro is by itself without a cage on top. This problem also is true if you're using the media mod because the media mod goes around the Hero 8 Black and again, you can't attach these filters. There's also another company called Ulanzi who came up with their own version of their filter that attaches directly to the Hero 8 Black. All you need to do is get a 52 millimeter filter and thread it on top. But they face a similar challenge to Polar Pro in that these filters can no longer work if you have to stick the GoPro inside of a cage. So the nice thing about a cage like this 
is that you not only get a flip screen so that you can see yourself as you're vlogging, plus a cold stream mount for attaching your external microphones and a slot for your mic adapter if you choose to use it, but you can also stick the GoPro inside by itself and you can use these filters as they were intended. So for the cost of less than $30, you can get a rig like this, which I think is pretty reasonable and it makes for a really compelling reason to look at using a camera like the GoPro as a vlogging or YouTube camera. And if you don't want to go the GoPro route, you can also get this mirror here, which is also extremely cheap for what it is. And you can add this to just about any camera to get your flip screen to help you create vlogging content. The other nice thing about this flip screen display is that unlike this display mod, which you're supposed to get at some point to work with the Hero 8 Black, that one is probably going to take up more battery power. But this is just a mirror and it doesn't take any additional power. You can just stick it onto the GoPro and as long as your LCD screen is still on, you can see yourself and you can better compose your shot as you're vlogging. But yeah, the problem is when that display goes to sleep like it did right now, now I can't see anything. There we go. Someone can come in and yeah, tap it for you. So now I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What do you think about this vlogging setup? Is this something that you would use or would you prefer a regular camera with a proper flip out screen? Let me know what you think and we'll see you in the next video.